Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I just wanted to tell everybody my story about how I came to Islam and why I came to Islam. Um, basically, I was an atheist all my life. I had been born a Christian, technically, I guess. Well, I was born Muslim, now I believe. But I'm saying, as far as my family goes, um, we were supposed to be Christian, Lutheran Christians, but we were never raised in the church. Um, we celebrate Christmas, but that's about it. Uh, so basically, I was like kind of lost. I didn't know what I was really. I tried to be a whole bunch of different kinds of Christian, especially Mormon. I used to pray and pray to be Mormon. Um, I took a lot of discussions for it and everything, and I believed in a lot of their beliefs as far as, you know, don't have sex before marriage, um, don't drink, don't smoke, you know, just keeping your body clean and all that. But the problem was I didn't believe in their prophet and all that, so obviously I couldn't be a Mormon. Um, and pretty much after that, I became really... Um, just disgruntled. I used to say horrible, horrible things. I figured, like, if God didn't want me, I didn't want him, so there must be no God, you know. I kind of just hated the idea of religion. I figured, like, it's just for people who can't think for themselves. They're mindless sheep, and they just need something to believe in because they're not strong enough in themselves. Um, and then I was in college, and I was in a public speaking class, and I had to give a speech on a culture, and I knew some Jordanian people, so I decided to give my speech on Jordanian culture, because I thought, hey, that'll be easy, you know. Um, and I really, like, I went to them and tried to ask them about their culture, and they, I guess because they were newer to the country or whatever, they really couldn't give me that much information or they were too lazy to do it, I don't know. But they gave me a couple websites and I started looking on the websites and then they were talking about that it was an Islamic country and it said something to the effect of about Islam being based on the principles of jihad. And it kind of like put a red flag in my brain like, what, you know, jihad? And then it said jihad meant struggle. And I was like, wait a minute, no, jihad doesn't mean struggle. Jihad means holy war, kill all the Christians, all the Jewish, everybody who doesn't think like us. But then um, I found out there are, you know, several different kinds of jihad, and that jihad is really about um, striving in the way of God, you know, struggling to do things God's way, you know, so you can have a physical jihad, but there's other kinds of jihad which you encounter much more in life you know more struggles with trying to you know keep your tongue in check to do the right thing you know fighting against people who are doing wrong you know not physically fighting necessarily but you know protesting or um, even just you know pursuing any wrong you see or you know keeping yourself in check and uh, so anyway, I decided to give my speech on Islamic culture, and I was researching more and more about Islam, and I found out that it was so closely tied with the Christian and the Jewish beliefs, you know, that we believe that uh, God sent the Torah with Moses, and then we believe that Jesus Christ was sent with the Bible, and then that Muhammad was sent with the Quran and the only difference is that they were all the same book of it, uh, originally but that people changed them over time you know that when the Torah came the people changed it for political reasons and then the Bible came and people changed it for political reasons and then the Quran came and everybody memorized it so it was something that couldn't be changed you know and the way it was written so poetically which I cannot vouch for that honestly but I do believe it because, I mean, I've read it seven times in English, and everything just makes sense, you know. But uh, anyway, so I <laughs> keep getting off track. But uh, I was uh, doing my speech on Islamic culture, and I got up in front of my class, and I said, okay, look, I'm not Muslim. This is not my religion. In fact, I'm an atheist. 
but I want you all to look at this religion and stop hating the religion itself or the followers. You can hate people who do bad things, but this religion is a good religion of peace and the same morals that most of you guys have, you know. And um, just after the speech, I kept researching and researching because I was looking for a contradiction in the religion or something that didn't make sense, something that, like, like something that I would question and I wouldn't have an answer to it and really like I couldn't find anything that was contradicting at all in the Quran between the Quran and the Sunnah or anything um, so still I wasn't going to become Muslim but one night I couldn't sleep and I was just tossing and turning in my bed and I said Shahada for some reason I don't even know why and I fell right asleep and ever since then I've been a strong Muslim um, I'm not perfect like I said before in my last vlog I don't wear hijab uh, I have a lot of sins I'm not going to sit here and list them all on the internet but uh, Islam is definitely in my heart I try to be a good wife, a good mother um, and inshallah one day I'll have like a really good man Right now, I'm not quite there. I really wish I could have some sisters as friends, but to be honest, I don't have any Muslim friends. Um, I'm real scared to go to the mosque. It's very intimidating for me. Uh, prayer takes me almost an hour, <laughs> and that's after four years. So, um, anyways, I just keep talking and talking. This is too fun. But uh, I hope to uh, catch you guys on my next blog probably in like 10 minutes because it's kind of fun. Um, hopefully I'm not annoying you too much. Alright, so I'm like, um, bye.